Hello guys, thank you for tuning into my channel and watching this video. Um, apparently here I have this waterproof case for, uh, it's called casing for um, Instant 360 camera. Because apparently this camera, it did not come in waterproof. So you gotta buy this case that comes with it. Um, it's, it's about like 60 to 70 to 80 dollars. I don't know if it's on sale now, but before you think about purchasing it or if you do already have it i would do a little bit of sampling on it you know i would not just recommend for you to go ahead and you know put it in the water right away and everything so get yourself a sample um to this part here just get him like napkin or paper towel or any paper dry paper you can stick it inside in there and submerge it to the water just to sample it out, make sure you know nothing leaks before thinking about sticking in your Instant 360 camera on that case. That's what I did. <laughs> I should not have done that. I was just rushing to go somewhere, you know. And I just noticed something that uh, um, it was getting fogged inside, moisture building up. So, and that's the reason why I want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. It doesn't really do any effect right now because it's just, you know, you're just putting any paper in. There's really no effect to it because there is no heat or anything like that. But if you use the Instant 360, when you actually, when you're putting it in 4K, the camera gets get really hot. And what happened here is uh, when the camera gets really hot, then that's when the I think the seal has to do any you know any like effect to it I guess and um, I don't know it's just stressing it down I don't know if the quality control is good on this um, waterproof casing for uh, Instant 360 company that made this <laughs> I don't know so um, that's this is the reason why um, I want to show you guys because. Uh, let me know if you have a good successful on this casing or any trick to it, but to my opinion, for a $300 investment um, for your camera, at least it should be good, you know. I mean, I think this is the reason why you separate from a GoPro to a camera like this, you know. To I'm not saying I don't want to compare it, but at least make it like a robust kind of type you know people are going to use this inter 360 camera it's going to be action you know people are not just going to use this to bring it to the mall or just do a blog with it you know people are going to use this to run around they're gonna they're gonna touch this to a drone or anything like that what i did you know i'm gonna put this and people are gonna use this everywhere and adventure you know and you're gonna be taking this everywhere it's gonna be hot or cold I've seen people using this in snowboarding, you know, and everything like that. But um, I don't think it really affects anything on, on the um, snowboarding or anything. But I think it only affects when you, like, submerge this to the water or to the swimming pool or something like that. But anyway, um, this is my thoughts to you guys showing you what's my issue, what I have with this Instant 360. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the camera. It's easy to work with. I mean, it's pretty fun but this case here that you see just I don't know I think the company should do a um, I think they should do a quality control first before thinking about submerging you know or anything selling it to us especially for this kind of amount of money so anyway uh, thank you for watching and I really do appreciate it you know I'm just showing you what's my thoughts and what I'm having issue with this instant 360 and my experience with it so thank you so much appreciate